Good and happy Saturday morning. It's been a while. I did this. Missed you guys a lot. I'll try to be as thorough as possible. Rent or buy. Shovel Knight. Treasure Trove. Rent or buy. That is the question. All right. Let's start off with if you don't even own this game. For me, it's, again, a collector's item. I want to play on the Switch. I still have my Wii U version. And my 3DS version. Here's the catch. I want to start off with that. 3DS and Vita version didn't get the full update of these two versions. Sadly, the Shovel Knight Showdown DLC is not on the 3DS or the Vita version. I was kind of bummed out. But the King Knight DLC is on the 3DS. Why should you bother with the 3DS version? Basically because of the 3D. Playing Shovel Knight in 3D... It's quite epic and delicious and very still more portable than uh, Switch Lite, might I add. So I'm just saying that, just pointing it out. So you can pass on to that because you're missing still a lot. These two versions, if you already own this, not really a point to get this, right? But you want to be today trending and you want to have the latest version. These two equals, they're the same. Everything is on there. If you bought this in the past, that's the thing about Yacht, Yacht Club. They give out and update games for free and they're nice for it. If you bought this, you got all of this into this. So, game in general, game in general, I'm just saying. I'm glad I got my Switch version. Yes, I could play on my Switch Lite. I want to play on my Switch Lite because the Showdown version is not on my 3DS. Now, what is Showdown? It's the brand new final DLC, which I adore and love a little bit too much. That's what I've been playing. On this, you have all four previous five. No, you have the normal game and you have four DLCs. You do have uh, Plague of Shadows. I can't remember the other DLCs. Can't read that much. Spectre of whatever. Spectre DLC. And the, 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 the King the king of Cards DLC. That's the new one that came out with Shovel Knight Showdown. Now the King of Cards, again, it's the adventure mode on the King side. King. The brand new King. Right? The King. Uh, which is a little bit... I didn't record any gameplay yet. I gotta practice. It's a bit challenging because the character basically just dash and then when he dash he could jump after it's complicated hard once you get used to it well you can play through the levels and you got a brand new adventure with the king of cards the king knight dlc that's the brand new one that came out with shovel knight showdown now my selling point to me if you didn't own any shovel knight before Yes, it's a must-buy, must-own. It's an 8-bit side-scrolling adventure. Delicious, very challenging, very good. It's a masterpiece. No questions asked. You have to try it if you love uh, Mega Man or anything else. I I'd compare it to a Mega Man type of game. Though you don't absorb superpowers and stuff like that, but you do unlock some powers. But I'm just saying, different characters, all the LCs play with a different character. I love the Spectre Knight a little bit too much. It's too easy. Too easy to play with Spectre Knight. That was the uh, second DLC. Everything's on there and included. But, like I said, the selling point to me, the Shovel Knight Showdown is an 8-bit Street Fighter slash Super Smash Brothers combined had a baby and made a game. It's so good. So much fun. There's nine characters to start off with. Each and one of them got, like, like I said, different gameplay and attacks. You can finish the game with nine different characters. So you have nine different story modes to do. I already uploaded just one with Shovel Knight. <laughs> I played in normal mode. Gotta say, almost felt like hard mode on the Shovel Knight Showdown. This is the brand new DLC, which is not included on the Vita and the 3DS. Boo. It's really sad because it's the best part of the new stuff. Now... Will they make a part two or will they keep upgrading this game as they've been doing for the past couple of years, giving out free DLCs every time and every time and every time? And I just love it. I didn't try any Amiibo features yet. Amiibos look gorgeous. I got to try it. 
I, I can't review on that, but uh, this is a must buy, must own. If it's not in your collection, you have to get it. You have to get it. Now, like I said, Shovel Knight Showdown, Street Fighter meets Smash Brothers. And it's never the same. They always do different and harder battles. I've been playing in normal mode. It's pretty tough. Like I said, the final boss, it lasts about half an hour if you don't die and don't repeat. I would say 30 minutes to finish a story mode with one character. You got nine to go. I will try to make every single one of them. It must be challenging as hell to finish with the King Knight this uh, Shovel Knight Showdown. You got to give it a try. 8-bit Smash Brothers. And you can multiplay local four-player fights. It's really epic. Now to wonder, will they put Shovel Knight and Smash Brothers after this? They could. They could. And I got to add, you got the swap body mode now. When you go in previous already played DLCs, like if you go on the Shovel Knight first game, what was the name of Shovel Knight? Ghost of Hope. Shovel of Hope. Um, you can play with the other characters inside that adventure. And you can, uh, I think, story mode, local two players. That's actually cool. So you got to try it. If you're a guy my age, 38, and you got that 8-bit nostalgia, this is the game for it. It should have been on NES back in the days. It's a masterpiece. Must buy, must own. Any gamers will tell you that with any library with experience. No questions asked about that. I own three different versions. Sadly, the 3DS version did upload with the King of Cards and the Vita versions also. But not the best part is the Shovel Knight Showdown. No updates on the 3DS or Vita. So if I want to play that portable, got to go with my Switch Lite. So hope you like this Saturday morning review. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Send some love. And I'll see you soon.